All right, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Kamisha Reviews. We are here. We are here. The challenge has dropped. All Stars Season 3. And you see who I got on the screen, my girl, Yana, a friend to the show, a friend, a friend. <laughs> We're going to break down the challenge, the premiere. Okay, then we got some gems for you coming up after this, but we're just going to get started today and just talk about the Astro premiere. Ayana, how you doing, Mama? You doing all right? Oh, I'm doing well. Thank you for having me. Yes. All right, let's get started with uh, the OG that came through. We start out with the queen. They call her Queen Veronica, but she is that. Um, she comes back. She is a three-time. See, this thing about it, I feel like the females, we don't announce that enough. I know it's been a long time. I get it. But she is a three-time female champion. And not a lot of people have done that since that point. No one has even said that. And she plays the game. Her political grant game is everything. You really got to watch the ones in the past to understand how devious she is. But it works for her, and she, and she wins. Okay? The whole, the whole um, lineup with we got Jordan coming in. Jordan, who is, I think, somebody... I've all looked up too because he has an impairment with his hand, but that mm. never stopped him. In fact, I forget about it because the way he plays. Do how do you feel about that, Yana? I know. You, well, have you seen Jordan? I know. I'm not sure. He's kind of a newer, the new kids, as y'all call well, it. I'll tell you. You know, episode one is so nostalgic for me because I know what it feels like to walk into the house for the first time. You know, we get Cynthia walking in and, mm. and Roni walking in and everybody with these stories of, oh, wow, it's my first time after an extended period of time. But right. now you got a little bit, few of the newer challengers like Jordan and Naya coming through to the all-stars. So I want to um, see know, what Naya going to do. This whole season. And I was really excited to see Veronica. And I know some of y'all might be surprised at that. <laughs> why would you say they'd be surprised that you, uh, for you to say that about Veronica because I think that people get stuck you know in thinking that mm. people hold these grudges for like you know when you hold somebody else's heavy bags you the only mm. one left carrying the weight you know come on so, now you know I tend say to that. go in life and so um you know she looks real healthy you know to be coming in you know I tell told other people on different podcasts that, you know, a lot of people will, you know, elevate and amplify the one thing that happened between us when we were kids. But she's since become, like you said, a three-time challenge champ. And, yes, um, yes. you know, is really bringing um, strategy. And I would say overall, the language that a lot of the challengers are bringing to the house from, from the start in this episode, they're bringing grown folks game. They're not playing games. They're not on vacation. They're starting off hitting the ground running when it comes not to vacation <laughs> Look, i was on vacation I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you you know i was just kind of glad to be there you know oh, jesus christ um yes. however you know to see the game elevated in this way mm -hmm. to see uh you know the godfather come out black on black woo woo i Look. mean the big sigh you know he, he <sighs> in his first episode that he's engaged and you know has yes. his weight his weight loss journey has got him to the fine destination mm. off the train because yes. it looks good he looks good so he shows he us did. in that Look, first episode so you know I'm, I'm loving when people can be celebrated for where they've come versus where yeah. they've been and um again that just feeds into for you know same way for veronica you know she's you know looking real healthy and um you they know are, yes really showing proof that she still got it so uh yeah i was excited to see her but um you know we first started this video you know i had my girl up everybody you know everybody knows i kind of struggle with the tech a little bit but uh you have shown me how to do my backgrounds and boom <laughs> <laughs> That's my girl. That's my girl. That's my girl. I love her to death. Tina's everything. Oh, Tina's everything. But the back, I, I, I'm telling you, I love to see you two on there together. Would be a dynamic. Um, that they, they did bring back Tyler, which I was kind of surprised about because he really got messed up. I ain't trying to be funny. He did. Latarian put a hurting on him on that pole wrestle they had, and so he did get kind of messed up. So I really was surprised to see him come back. And like you brought up, um, Naya, I like how they touched on. Because I watched the Naya and Jordan season, and they had a struggle. The fact that they actually matured and grown 
and it, 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 it the way they were talking to each other, like they were like they was having some kind of chemistry. I don't know if you saw that, and that was a natural. I was like, wait a minute. So let me find out. I know Jordan broke up with his girlfriend. I'm gonna give a little tea. He broke up with his girlfriend the long, long time they've been together. So if you look, you saw the way Jordan West. Everybody is scared of West, and they should be because West even proves in this episode he can do so much dirt and will still be in the show. And in the first episode, they proved that. Now, I know you know about Wes. Everybody knows about Wes. Since he first started a red-headed, freckled dude that everybody is scared of, they call the villain. The villain. And I got some tea you know, about what's going to happen. It's interesting to me because I'm coming in similarly to a lot of the new fans to the challenge um, that may have come in originally, you know, more than 10 years ago. So a lot of the challengers that, you know, came in, you know, five years ago or even, you know, 10 years ago in some cases, um, mm -hmm. you know, they kind of have a clean slate with us, you know, say for us digging up their trivia okay. and forming a, a worldview on who they are. Um, they still, in a sense, um, have an opportunity to really show their newest personality because we, we don't we haven't gotten to know them yet. Um, to sh There's gotcha. a shot where. You know, you hear all of the naysayers. You hear that internal dialogue. Is he still on this? Yeah. Is he still a scammer? Is he that? You know, people that have been through being the target of someone bringing up your worst moments and have overcome that, I'm kind of drawn to those individuals because that shows a certain level of resilience that you can't just buy at the store. So I'm really curious to see um, not only how Wes presents himself. Well, not even but, that, he's right. Yeah, or as, as it pertains to the game, mm -hmm. you know, is he going to fall in line with that same paradigm that was pushed out before? Or are we going to see some levels? I, well, I'm going to say this. I don't think Wes has changed. He even said it. I'm coming in to do what I've been doing for the past 15 years. I just He's never faulted or went differently. But they do got a wrench for him. I saw a preview, but we'll get into that. Um, but TJ talks about uh, the, there's a top female, the top males coming in um, to play the tunnel vision. And the game is played in two rounds. It's a memory game, which I'm telling you, I saw that. I was like, child. Um, competitors have to look through the tiny little tunnels and the giant wall to memorize the pattern. Like, I think it was a frog, a cat, whatever it was. The first man and woman to run back to get their pattern exactly on the board win, and they're safe in the first elimination. The last man and woman to finish goes straight to the elimination, right? The guys go first. It's pretty straight cutthroat. Everyone trying to look into the peephole, hole, fighting back and forth. West was the first person to call for check, but it wasn't right. It wasn't right. Okay. Uh, Brad, Jordan, Derek, and Tyler, MJ, and then West called another check. He actually got it right. So he was the and then uh he was the second one to finish. He's not that mad. Yes, it's not that he ain't that mad about it because he's the one with the big heavy responsibilities. Immediately, West is talking about West. Yes. I'm like, Wes, you know that yes is good. He's already coming for him. In the very first episode, then it's MJ, Darrell, Nehemiah, Jordan, Derek, and Latarian, Brad, and Mark. The race for last place between Tyler and Cyrus with Tyler getting the win and sending Cyrus to elimination. The women, to me, killed it. I felt like they knew the assignment. Got they were doing the tunnel, same thing or whatever. Sylvia was the first one. Sylvia, in the years past, me watching, always struggled. I'm not trying to be funny. Sylvia was always the loser. She always did a, a really horrible job. Everybody got mad at her. When she was the first one to call for check, I was the first one to say, yes, you better tell them I ain't the same Sylvia I was back in the day. The same thing you were saying before. I It was amazing. I was, whoo, I was very happy. Then it went from Kellyanne, Veronica, Melinda, K uh, Kayla, Jim A., Jonah, uh, Ronnie, and then Naya. Then it was between Kendall, Tina, and Cynthia. Kendall ended up finishing first. Tina, Tina finishing ended up sending Cynthia to elimination. Now, so Wes and Sylvia did not have the power, but this season is different. The top three and the top three women, men and women, they have the authority. The six people nominate one man, one woman to go against the challengers or whatever. This means that, yes, MJ, Kellyanne, Veronica have equal say as Wes and Sylvia. However, 
West and Sylvia have power to sabotage any player in the next elimination, which could be a really big deal for the season, especially if West is in control of it. Okay. Yeah, you get these get dimensions that. that, you know, again, I think the, the dimensions of season three appeal to your die hard core challenge fan, but as well um, give you some tidbits of, of curiosity to pull in people that, you know, have basically maybe have never even seen the challenge before. You know, mm-hmm. to have these dimensions that you can just throw monkey wrenches in the game, I think that it does require, you know, folks that are a little bit more skilled than anybody else because, now you're not just leaning on um, just one or two ways of going about making your moves. Alliances mean nothing um, mm. with the new uh, with the new strategies that are put in play. But um, again, it's like there are these moments of episode one that I definitely appreciate. Like um, the, uh, the moment where everybody comes out in their best, you know, they walk in the door in their best um you know oh, yes. Nehemiah, if you look at the suit that he has on like i think that that suit speaks to his inner like who he is as a person he brought his best to the table it's the same suit that he wore to casey's wedding so he to me put that pin on i came here to play you know i didn't just come wearing any old thing i came wearing a garment that is a royalty that I wear when I do royal things. So, um, you know, I love Janae's fit. Oh my goodness, I could talk about that all day. Um, you know, Janae, she likes to look good. She likes to be um, classy and, and have it, you know, all together. Um, I do think that that gives a certain level of appreciation for the opportunity when you show up, um, looking your best, being your best. Um, you know, you talked about earlier Naya and Jordan. I think that they definitely came in the house understanding that, wait a minute, we've never played with hardly any of these people before. Um, so, right. or I don't know if they've ever played with any of them, actually. Um, no. There may be one or no. two, but not a whole lot. I don't lot. think Naya's even done. I mean, no, no, no. I, I, this, Naya's been gone for a minute. Uh, Jordan just recently left uh, a few years back, so he's kind of not really been out of it. But um, I love how you brought up the outfit that they had on because their outfits was everything. I mean, mm-hmm. they was when they came in the yeah, champagne and everything. I was like, I loved it. But it's like oh, they were preparing well, tell you, the wait a minute. I gotta I, I should pull her back up. I put up a puzzle piece because we were talking about puzzles. Let me tell you, now I'm gonna start playing around with this thing. I'm gonna get I'm y'all gonna mess around. <laughs> I'm gonna get good at this stuff. Between between my but, cards okay, what do you think? What do you think about the I'm new this. but you know Veronica and Tina walk in first. Mm-hmm. We talk about drop somebody go get the fire hydrant and, and put out the fire because I was like, oh, everybody was looking good. No out. Out. We had the girls out. I'm like, yes, yes. yes. Uh, what What do you think about the the new rules that I told you about? As far as the new rules, how they have it with the the big um, them all come together. I don't know if I agree with the authority. It's so many of them. To have authority over who goes home it's like a whole team it's like that's six people to decide who's gonna stay who i don't know what do you think about that i, I actually think it's i mean as a, being home watching being there i think that it would be it could definitely be intimidating to people me personally i mean i think i've been real clear about how i approach life in general if it's for me it's for me if it's not it's not I'm not going to, you know, get my panties in a bunch over what right, other right. people are manifesting. Um, but to have to have six people or four out of the six um, agree in order to move forward, I think that there's room for a lot of content there, you know, especially if they decide, you know, that it's a majority amongst the six that makes the final say in any one of those decisions. Um you know, but how many times in life do we find ourselves in that position as well? It is a yes, lot of people, yes. but eventually, again, it's an individual game. TJ says that in the first episode. Mm. Um, eventually, numbers are going to start falling anyway. Um, I yeah, will be true. quite honest, you know, to see Cyrus and Tina's name up there and to see Tyler's name up there, you know, at the start, I was like, come on. 
like, are we really doing this again? You know, um, if you notice in the history of the All-Stars Challenge, you know, many times some of your most vulnerable people are right there and they're put up there first and foremost. Not the saying that anybody, these are all finalists. So I think yes. maybe the term vulnerable is is mis, um, you know, I may, have, I, I may have made a mistake by saying the word vulnerable, but when we talk about how many alliances a person may or may not have there, um, I do, I think I could, I could, uh, I could say with confidence that in terms of just the sheer numbers that the people that were put up there, the alliances maybe aren't as, um, they don't have the quantity of alliances that everyone else has. It's going to be some drama with that going forward. I can see it because even in this for deliberation, MJ wants to nominate Jordan because he doesn't want to run against a strong player. But right. yes, is like I. But yes, is saying I want that. He's always been the kind of person. If I'm gonna compete, I want to compete against the best. That's just how I am. Wes is just sitting there not saying anything. Don't put MJ. MJ's idea isn't that bad. But let's focus on the bottom, the people who are doing the worst allegedly. So Veronica doesn't want to throw Tina in. Okay, a lot, everyone likes Tyler, of course. Um, they're trying not to make waves, but in this they do. Because Tina is gonna be pissed putting one of her friends in. So Veronica go and Veronica and Sylvia try to go talk to Tina about it, but she don't want to hear that crap. She's like, it's the first throw. She said, I got you. So when it happens to you, don't be surprised when I come at you. Period. I mean, how did you, you know, feel about it? You know, and it's gotta it's gotta sting, you know, because again, you're talking about people that haven't been well, I mean, of course, Tina just finished doing an All Stars, yes, and you yes. know, Veronica's a three time champion. So we're not talking about somebody that hasn't ever done it. Mm -hmm. um, but to know that, you know, your one person who is one of your closest allies, um, to even have it inferred that that person didn't ride for you, um, that that stings. Even though we know it's all a game and it's not personal, yes. when it happens. It stings. Now, mm -hmm. it'll be interesting to see in the fandom if, you know, people get pegged as being, you know, like I remember when I did it, I was pegged as being a backstabber and all this other evil stuff. So I'm oh, wondering wow. if they're going to take that, you know, that same angle. Um, I didn't get the vibe that it was a backstabbing necessarily. Um, okay. per se. Um, I didn't get that. Uh, but at the same time, um, you know, it's there's a half a million dollars on the line. You know, one could ask, you know, can your friendship survive both of you trying to go for a half a mil? Uh, in that regard, you know, it's it's an interesting conversation about the human dynamic. Um, I really do hope their friendship definitely, I really do hope the friendship was able to, um, you know, overcome that. But, um, you know, I guess we'll see as the season unfolds. She did speak about that as far as the friendship. So I feel the same exact way. I don't think it was a malice thing. I think she was put into a position where she had no other choice. And that's just that's just me from watching it. I don't know if that's the case or not. Um, let's get to the the challenge, the elimination challenge, which was really rough. It was the, uh, it was the, the crawl brawl. It was purely in the dirt, crawling, grabbing these sand blockages and trying to go back and forth passing each other as you're crawling it, it was intense to watch especially for tina tina gets the lead but she you know cynthia kind of doesn't give up but tina was saying throughout the whole thing this is hard for me because i don't want to send her home and i felt it i felt like when tina was saying that she did not want to send her home but she had to do what she had to do and she ended up ringing the bell and she does send cynthia home uh, Tyler and Cyrus, it was kind of similar. Cyrus was, was blew through Tyler. I mean, I'm just, just I wanted to see more of Tyler. I wanted to see more of Tyler. Like, Tyler always goes home super early. He um, always, always, always. Like, can we get Tyler for more than four episodes? Like, you what? know, I think that he went more. I think he went farther. Didn't he? Yeah, yeah, I think he went farther, much farther, you know, in all Oh, yeah, too. he did. He um, did. And if you notice, like, in his social media and whatnot, you know, he's really put in some effort and work into saying, you know what, I'm going to refine my body and my, 
agility and what in all in and, and whatnot. But I, I think what's also um, so amazing about the challenge that the opportunity presents is that you know sometimes it's your day. Sometimes it's your it's your day. You know, are we saying that some one person didn't perform as well as another? No. Mm -mm. It just wasn't that person's day, especially when you can go home saying I gave everything that I had. So it was it was uh, hard. I think that he really wanted to stay. It just wasn't in the cards for him to stay because the way, like you were saying earlier, they're all competitors. They've all been to finals. But even with that being said, that makes it hard for you to choose. But you still have to kind of cut the fat. Whoever is. And not, I know you said the vulnerable word. It's not really being a bad word. It's like whoever is not as strong as the other, even though you guys are all strong, it's going to make it harder for them to decide. Now, TJ did announce a twist. He said every time somebody eliminates a player, they get a star on their jersey. So now Tina and Cyrus have two. They get some kind of power. We have no idea. He didn't announce what it meant or anything like that. But it's some kind of trend. So it goes back to what you were saying that, is an individual game, even though they're doing this group stuff. The stars are going to mean something. I think the more elimination you get in and you come back, it's a better for you. I just don't know what that twist is. Yeah. Know. Yeah, but we'll see. You know, we're definitely along for the ride, but I know our time is, you know, beginning to come to an end. You know, thank you so much for having me yeah. on mm -hmm. um, to just talk about this episode and, um, you know, give my two cents, you know. Many times in life, you know, again, I'm a huge advocate. What is for you is for you. Be your authentic self um, whenever you can be. Hopefully that's all the time. And when it's not, find ways to quickly get back to that. Um, and I just I wish the best for everybody that's um, picking up the ball this season to uh, go for the big bag. Yes, ma'am. We'll be back again, guys, to do more commentary about the next part. Uh, part uh, sorry, episode two. And then it was episode three. And then also, too, some more stuff that we're talking about as well. So, y'all, this is the first one. Bear with us. We're trying to get together, but I think we're fine. You guys are going to love it. So until next time, I will see you. I will see you, Yana. I will see you guys next time on Commission Views. Make sure you please hit that like, comment, and subscribe. Follow Ayana on her Instagram. I will also have her information in the description. With that being said, I'm going to close the door. <laughs>